we do sample size computation? It's so simple. So let's talk about the sample size first. A sample size denoted by the letter N is the count of individual observations or samples in any statistical setting, like a research or a public opinion survey. In practice, the sample size used in any study is usually determined based on time, cost, or convenience of collecting the data, and the need for it to offer sufficient statistical strength in making inferences. When I say statistical strength, though it is relative straightforward concept, choice of sample size is critical for any research. Why? It's because too small sample could produce unreliable results. An overly large sample demands an undesirable amount of time and resources. So these are the, the two things that we need to consider. So that's why we need to really compute a sample size that is reliable. And there are several methods of determining the sample size, by the way. So take note. The letter N here is simply the sample size. The capital letter N is the population size. Okay? And then, we will be using... There are so many methods, but I'm going to be focusing on the Slovens formula. And this is the Slovens formula, by the way. Again, there are so many methods on how to compute the sample size, but I'm going to be using the Slovens formula and most researchers make use of this. Take note, you already know what N is. N is the sample size. That's already checked. Capital letter N. Capital letter N is the population size. The letter E here is the margin of error. And usually, we will be making use of 5% or 0 0.5. So later on in our example, I will be using 0 0.05 in my computation. So take note of that. Those are your um, parts of the formula. So take note of the formula, and we will be using PEMDAS for this one. We will start with the exponent, then multiply it to n, then add it to 1, then divide 1 with the result of whatever is your denominator. Now, let's make use of this in our example. I will only give one example. This is our example. Determine the population size n. Solve the sample size N using Slovin's formula. Solve for the percentage given the population of a certain senior high school. Construct a table to present the results. So, this will be our table. This is how a table should look like sa ang problem. Sir, we will have a column for the population and the sample. At the middle part will be the percentage. The first column is the year level. We have grade 11 and grade 12. In the population part, I will be dividing it into three columns. We have a column for the male, a column for the female, and a column for a total. For the sample, we also have three columns for that. We have the column for the male, the female, and the total. And take note, we have a row for grade 11, a row for grade 12, and a row for the total. So how do we fill this up? Let's start with the population first. Now let me ask you a question. How do you get the total over here for grade 11? What will you do? You add what? What will you add? You will be adding 75 and 114. And how much do you get for that? 
Okay, let's go to the total of the grade 12 students. How much? 170. Now, how will you get the total of the male students? Add 75 and 62. That's 137. What about the female total? Two hundred and twenty-two. Now, how do we get the overall total? Okay, you can add one thirty-seven and two hundred twenty-two. I can even add one eighty-nine and one seventy, right? Yes, and both both numbers will give me how much? Three hundred and fifty-nine. So it's either you will be adding these two numbers, Kenisha, or these two numbers it will still give you 359 now what is 359 what is this the total what this is the that's the population size so, one way of getting the population size without using the table, it's simply adding 75, 114, 62, and 108 out of the given. So, I'll be adding them. It's 359. Or you can make use of this table. Okay? Any questions so far? Now, let's, let's compute the sample size. Let's make use of the Slovin's formula. What is the value of N? What's, what's the 359? We have solved that already. It's 359. What is the value of E? I mentioned this a while ago. The margin of error is how much? Katong gamito na kong margin of error ganiha? A 5%, that's 0 0.05. So always ng margin of error, we will be using 0 0.05. So I substitute na ko ang N na 359, 1 plus N, which is 359 again, times the margin of error, which is constant, 0 0.05. Then you square that. Now, let's start with this one. Let's make use PEMDAS. So you start with the exponent. Now, how much is 0 0.05 squared? Can we make use of a calculator? 0 0.05 times 0 0.05. Okay, 0 0.0025, right? Doha ka zeros, then 25. Am I correct? Yes. Now, you multiply that to 359. 0 0.0025 times 359. How much do you get? 0 0.8975. Then you add 1. So, 0 0.8975, diba you will be getting 1.8975. Now, you divide. 359 divided by 1.8975. Okay, 189.1. 1.96, then round it off to the nearest whole number. <coughs> um, whole number, whole number. But this is the result. When I say round off to the nearest whole number, meaning the nearest ones. Unsa may sunod sa 9 dere? 1. Are you gonna add 1 to 9 or 9 will just remain the same? Nine real be remain okay. Can you tamag add one section Galileo? Five or more ang ni follow sa imong round off. That's totally right. So this will be our sample size. This is our sample.
sample size. O, okay na atong sample size nga N. Now, next. Solve the percentage because this percentage is very important in getting our sample. Dili man ni siya. Example, na nakay 189. Dili man ka magpataka nga magkuha na ka dirig pila ka buok sa grade 11, sa grade 12, sa f- me, male or female. Di man ka magpataka niya, maabot ka 189. There is computation for that as well. So, how do we compute first the percentage? It's very simple. You divide N by N. The small letter N, which is 189, divided by the capital letter N, which is 359. How much do you get when you divide the two? In three decimal places, please. You give me your answer in three decimal places. 189 divided by 359. How much again? 189 divided by 359. Zero point five two six, or you can write that in percentage by just simply moving the decimal point twice to the right. So one two, that's fifty two point six percent. So this one means the same thing. When I say fifty two point six percent, it just means zero point five two six, right? So that will be our percentage now. Okay. Any questions so far? Everything is clear? Okay, now let's proceed with the computation of the sample. So I will be enlarging everything. So we have already computed the total of the grade 11, the grade 12, the total of the male and the female, and the overall total. (coughs) And we have also computed the percentage. Now, let's start with... How do I compute the sample for the male grade 11 students? So I'll be making use of 75. What will I use with what will I do with 75? We will get 52.6% of that or simply multiply multiply this to 75. So how well, how much is 75? times 0.526. How much is 75? How much? 49.45. A round off na na kung 49.39.45. Is it 39? Yes, so this will be my sample sa grade 11 ng mga male students. 39. Do the same thing with the female. I'll be multiplying this by 0.526. So how much is 114 times 0.526? I round off menu to the nearest whole number. 60. Okay, so you multiply na kung 114 by 0.526, 59.96. Approximately that 60, you round off to the nearest whole number again. <coughs> Let's go to the grade 12 students, the male students here. Multiply this by 0.526. How much do you get? And you round off? 33. So, take note, na natay male nga grade 12. And lastly, what about the female? 57, you have rounded it off already. Okay, that's it. Now, here's my question. How do we get the total sample size of the grade 11 students? What? What will you add? 39 and? And how much do you get for that? 99 for that. 
what about the total sample for the grade 12 students? 90 for that. What about the total sample for the male students? Seventy two. What about the total sample for the female? Hundred seventeen. Now let's verify. Hundred seventeen. Can we add the total here, ninety nine and ninety, and also seventy two and hundred seventeen? How much do we get? One hundred and eighty nine. What is one hundred eighty nine again in our computation of Ganiha? What was one eighty nine? Is it the top population or is it the sample size population? Is, is it the sample size? Now, well, look at our sample size. I will go back to our sample size. Oh, there you go. But we were able to get 189, right? So, in our sample size, it will also be 189. Now, sir, there will be cases nga dili siya mo one mo parihas. Do not worry about that. Do not worry if, about that. Kina grounding off na mangguta din he. So, ayaw ka hibungan. There will be cases nga. Ang inyuhang total diri, dili mo total sa inyuhang gi-compute nga sample size. There is nothing wrong with that. I-follow ninyo ang kanang naa sa inyuhang table. So, kining inyong computation, mo ni i-follow na to. Probably mo ligas lang og usa or duha. Now, let's summarize everything now. So, this is our summary. Okay? Kanang red part in the table, kitay nag-fill up ana. Okay. Ang first na tong gibuhat was get the total of each grade level for the population. This one, this one, then the total of the male and the female. After which, we added, we will be getting 359. 359 is the same as adding all the given numbers in your data so we have 75 114 62 and 108 to get 359 359 is your population size to get the sample size you will be using the slovens formula you already know that n is 359 you substitute 359 over n and our margin of error is always 0 0.05 Again, our margin of error, the letter E, is 0 0.05. Now, using PEMDAS, you square this first. Do the squaring. So, meaning 0 0.05 times 0 0.05, you will be getting 0 0.0025. Multiply that to 359, you will be getting 0 0.8975. Adding it to 1, you will be getting 1.8975. Dividing these two, you will get this answer and round it off to the nearest whole number. That is your sample size, 189. So, to get the percentage, it's simply small letter N, the sample size, divided by the capital letter n which is the population size so 189 divided by 359 you will be getting this answer over here and then you will have or you can convert that to percent so we have here this is also 52.6 percent it's totally the same to get this 39 Kining 75, gimultiply na ko ani. Giround off na ko to the nearest whole number. The same thing. 114, multiply that to this. It's 60. 62, multiply that to the percentage. That's 33. 108, I multiply sa 5 to 6. That's 57. So to get the sample size total of the grade 11 you will add these two to get 99 grade 12 add these two to get 90 for the male add these two to get 72 for the female you add this to get 117 if you will be summing up these two it will give you 189 this is how you compute the sample size now so kabalo na ka nga ah, i need to have I need to give this questionnaire to 39 nga mga male grade 11. Yeah, dapat 60 ka buok female grade 11 ako ang mahatagan ani. 
na ang grade 12 pud kay I will be giving this to 33 nga male grade 12 nga ang sa female 57 ka buok grade 12 nga female students. So this is how we do the sample size computation.